Hey everybody, this is Brent here, and this is my Let's Play of Game Dev Tycoon. This is a uh, small indie developed game from Greenheart Games. Um, I heard about these this game uh, because of their interesting DRM they released, which was um, something to do with whoever anyone that downloaded the game without paying for it once they started up their company which you'll see in the actual game uh, their virtual fans actually started to pirate their game so you know it got a lot of, a lot of talk on forums and stuff and it was really a very smart idea I thought it was ingenious and yeah so I bought the game and you know Hopefully it lives up to all the hype, so let's have a go. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company, right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 30 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. All right. Well, that's very interesting. <clears throat> okay, so before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. All right, well, name, name, a name. Well, first of all, my name is Brent. Uh, any last name? It's a bit classy when you give it the last name, I think. And I'm, uh, oh, <laughs> no, I am not a female. I am a male. Alright. Um, so, advanced options. Oh. You can only, always continue playing after the main game is over. The game links. We specialize how fast new platforms come to market when that's supposed to Fast base. What's an extra five years? I, I feel. I played a uh, game dev story on the the iPhone and on the Android tablet I've got and it, I don't know it just felt too fast paced everything was going too fast and you know I didn't have time to really savor and build up some revenue in between I mean I mean I know it's supposed to simulate life in a little bit and kind of make it so well you wouldn't be able to freeze time in real life but you know what I don't care so we're gonna go with 35 years. It's just an extra five. Who really cares? <clears throat> Let's see. Company name. Company name. I well, want it to be Studios. God, I can't spell. But what? What to name those studios? Hmm. It could be really lame. Say BD Studios or Deacon Studios or blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. It seems a bit weird. Um, no, let's call it, let's stick to what I know, let's call it Blue Shell Studios, there we go, um, okay, alright, hmm. I'm not a redhead, I'm not African American, I'm not what I assume is Asian. Um, I'm not a brunette either, so I think I'm gonna have to go with this fella. Um, to give him some oh, oh. Um, sweater vest, stripes, sweater vest. Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the stripes. All right, all set up. Brent Deacon of Blue Shell Studios. Doesn't really roll off the tongue, but you know what? That's okay. Hmm. If you ever want to review the tutorial, uh, blah blah blah, let's press escape. Yeah, whatever. Congratulations, you've just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage, and you are the only employee. But don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Yeah, I'll bet they have. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Alright. Ooh, I got an achievement. Sport a, sport a young up stuff. Well, that went away quick. 
support a young startup by the game. Ah, that's clever. Because I bought the actual game. Ah, I mean, ah, okay, I usually hate achievements and trophies and stuff that just give it to you for no reason, but that's clever. Alright, up. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so I'll click anywhere on the screen. Develop a new game. Do this. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. Okay. Sorry, I got a bit distracted there. You can also select which graphics technology your game should use. Your options have any, are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. <coughs> Alrighty, well, I'm not going to call it, come on, Game 1, because that's a bit stupid. Um, let's see. Well, we're going to go ahead and pick a topic first, I think. Um, evil. Military, sports, and space. Hmm. What about genres? Action, adventure, RPG, simulation, and strategy. More, you know what? We're going to start with sports simulation. That seems easy enough. Um, and we're going to call it. What kind of game? What kind of sport game do we want to make? We could. We could make a golf game, we could make a football game, we could make soccer, sorry everyone that loves soccer and wants to call it football, but you know what, there's too many games called football, so <coughs> I'm just going to stick with that. Uh, <coughs> I'm a big fan of golf, playing it, so you know what, I'm going to go ahead and make a golf game, and I'm going to call it Lion, Lions. Little disgusting pun in there. Let's just do that. Beaks. Alrighty. <coughs> um, G64 on oh, the PC. Well, it's got a bit more of the market share, but I don't like that. Dev cost, that's way too expensive, so we're gonna <coughs> I'm sorry. We're gonna build this on PC. Alright, let's go. Uh, text base or 2D graphics version one. Well, knowing how we're doing text base, so we're gonna go with 2D graphics. Let's start development. Okay, so we've got some Orbal things happening here. We got technology and design. It seems like the two main, <coughs> two main things. So, um, game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking right focus of your game greatly increases the points you generate. All right, very similar to game dev story, so that's good. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Alright, whoa, okay. So we've got some sliders here. Um, engine, gameplay, story and quest. Okay, well, story and quest is pretty self explanatory. Gameplay is, I guess, um, let's quickly look at the help in stage one. Game engine. The game engine provides the basic building block of the game, the underlying technology. A good game engine will also uh, also enables things like multiplayer support, video playback, and realistic physics. Well, we will definitely need some physics <coughs> in a sports simulator. So, um, yeah, interacts in the game and how the game mechanics rules the game of tick work. So, I think. We're going to go a lot in the engine, moderate amount in the gameplay, and not very much in the stories. 
Alright, I've got some research. Game development has now started. While developing your game, you will generate game points, which can be can be so oh my goodness, I am jumbling my words. Uh, it can be, it can, you can see bubbling up. I shouldn't be reading this, but you know, I'm gonna keep doing it. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. Really? Fantastic. Mmm, bugs, yep. Look, I I get all that, that's fine. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste time reading through all that. Ooh, what we've we got here. Dialogues, level design and artificial intelligence. Alright, let's have a quick look at that. Stage two. Close you down. Oh, no, it's close. There. Dialogues are part of a storytelling as well, but also provide interaction between NPCs and the player. Don't need any of that. Uh, level design. Level design defines the structure of a player takes through a game. This includes simple things like where objects are located, but also the story arcs. Yeah. That's a bit of a medium there. AI is how computer controlled entities, enemies, companions, and all the world itself react to the player. Alright, well that's a no brainer. We're gonna bump up the artificial intelligence, a little bit of level design, and go very little minutia of dialogue. So that'll do for now. Get some points going in this. Features of for the game. Right now you can only pick basic sound, but your options will increase quickly. Alrighty. Graphic type selected when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. No. Okay. I, ugh. I guarantee you, throughout this entire game, I'm going to keep thinking I have to click that or choose another option for that. And that will annoy me. Whatever. Alright. Well, oh. We need sounds. Definitely need some sounds. Um. I think that's pretty self explanatory, but I'm going to have a quick. Quick look anyway. Some games invent an entire virtual world. Hey, uh, hello. World design deliver a backstory to the game and makes the game world more sophisticated and believable. Oh, uh, okay. Not necessarily. Well, get a little bit of that. The most obvious part of a game is uh, its graphics, but it doesn't always mean it's always the most important part. This game, it's a little bit important. While sounds are not often noticed. Not as often noticed as the graphics in the game, sound design. Oh, excuse me. Face a vital part of making a game great. Well, a little bit of sound, a little bit of world design, a fair bit of graphics. I think that'll do. Yeah, you make that game. You naughty little me. You, you me, but I don't know. Uh, the development of the first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish the game. Ah, no. Yeah, I am not releasing before bugs. I don't have time for that. I probably have some hidden bugs in there anyway. So, ooh. Oh, if I sacrifice a few weeks, I will I get a few more things. I like that. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. Okay. New topic. New combo. Great combo. Ah, and all my little categories go up. I like that. This is seems a lot more um, interactive than game dev story. It just kind of shows me everything that's happening. I don't know, you felt very cramped on the thing. I know it was a, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was a port from a Japanese game, like it started in Japan as a game on a computer, but, yeah, not trash the game. No. Alright, time to release Lion Irons. For any of you that did miss that before, Lion, Tiger, Woods, Iron, Irons and woods are a type of type of club. Yeah, whatever. 
Good judgment. Gonna get a good thing. Why, oh, you are welcome. Hmm, your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Awesome. Oh, I've finished my first game. I'm happy. New options in games. Well, I have research points. Cool. Let's see if we can research things. Um, can you save enough resources to be able to pick your own game engine? Yeah, try to develop games with different topics in general for a slight research boost. Right. 50 or a new topic. Well, if I made 22 in one game, all I've got to release is about two more games, and then I can research the game engine. It's suggesting I do that, so I think I'm going to leave that be. Um, game history. No profit. We'll wait. Ooh, here we go. First reviews for our newly released game, Lion Irons, came in. Let's see. Or seven, that's good. And eight. This is looking really good. Seven. I'm happy with that. Eight. Great combination. Puya. That's what I'm talking about. <coughs> ah, I made the news. Favorable reviews. Let's see if it sells. Yeah, demo better sell. Five and a half thousand sales, rank thirty. I don't know what that's ranked under. Maybe, maybe that's under Metacritic. Ranked thirty on the PC. Wait, what if you didn't had Metacritic at that point? Wouldn't they? <coughs> would have they even had um internet really? Well, not not what it is today. At least. I can't even remember when this is set, so I'm not even going to claim I know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Usually I do god awful in the first go, so that's awesome. Um, blue, did you can sail? Yep, right there. That's that's all right. Ooh, we get sixty-four thousand k. Ooh, we have fans. That's. See, I find that strange. We have 25 fans, and yet we sold 5.6 thousand copies. I mean, some of those people that are buying it just go, hmm, it's a game, but just hate the company. You know what? I hate you. Alright, well, I guess there's nothing else to do but make another game. Uh, mm. Let's pick a different topic. Let's see. Space, military, or medieval. Jeez, they really shoehorn you. Uh, shoe, shoehorn? I would hope not. Uh, shoehorn you in to this little, little gap, don't they? Um, let's go a medieval adventure. No. Strategy. An evil strategy. I I like that idea. Um, let's see if I'm gonna stick with this whole idea of bad puns. Um, era of kings. If it's not completely obvious what that one is, please put in the comments below what you think I mean by that. Era of Kings on the PC as a medieval strategy. Think about it. And if it's completely obvious, then maybe I'm just a terrible person. But you know what? I can live with that. This will certainly be 2D graphics. All right, let's start making a game. Um, I've already forgotten what all these do. The game engine. I don't know. It had something to do with something. 
Um, this one, we most certainly need some story. And some gameplay. And, uh, I like story filmers. <sighs> yeah. I think that'll do. I mean... Yeah. Let me drop that down a bit more. Yep, we're gonna go with that. Not sure if it's right, but it'll have to do. Ten thousand units sold. Lovely. I like that. Alrighty. So E three just uh just happened recently. Um and by recently, I mean it's probably still going on as I record this, but uh, yeah, according to a lot of people, Sony just pissed all over Microsoft with their naming of the price, but it, you know what, that doesn't really, <coughs> that's not going to affect me much, like, price was never really a big factor, I mean, I could go for the bargain, but if it was that damn expensive. I'm the kind of guy that'll wait it out and just get it later, so I don't know. If any of you guys watched it or have an opinion, please leave it in the comments below. Um tell me are you still if you're an Xbox three sixty person, like are you still gonna stick with the Xbox One? Is it because you like Microsoft or do you really think this new console is good or you know I, I don't want like a flaming like debate on there about just hating on PS3 or hating on Xbox. Like that's not what I want to see. You know, if if you've got a legitimate um, reason why you think one will do better than the other, please share it with us and don't attack each other. Just you know, have a debate, agree to disagree. I personally think the PS4 will be good, like will be amazing <coughs> if it's not, you know, handled completely stupidly. And if it is, well, then yeah, I think the games exclusives will pretty much decide for me. But you know, I'm I'm not I'm not that fast really. I mean, I play a lot of PC games. I play a lot of 3DS games. I like having games on the go or games where I can use my TV still. You know, I'm not a big console gamer. I'll be the first to admit it. I have a PS3, but the most time I ever like any games I put the most time into on is uh is sport games. Really, I, I it's weird, but it's just how it is. I don't know. But really, you know, let me know what you think and. You know, I'd love to hear what you guys think, because, I don't know, I just find all this game industry stuff very fascinating, and this, well, that's pretty much why I thought this game would be fun, and, well, so far I'm liking it. Let's see, uh, sound, a bit of music helps, but, uh, I think our world design here is the biggest thing. Bit of, bit of graphics. A little bit of sound, so yeah, let's see how this goes. Alrighty, get rid of those bugs, buddy. Get us a few extra little bumps. Ooh. Seventeen thousand units, almost eighteen thousand. We're winning hundred twenty-five. Ooh, so I've reached one hundred k. God, that's more money than I'll ever see in real life, I'll tell you that much. Is that really how much money you can get from actually, like, making a game? I, I guess it would have to be pretty damn popular, but... Uh, I guess you have to start with a lot of money, too. Put a lot of money in. I'm just not that ballsy, really. Yeah. I, personally, need to find a real job. Hopefully, soon. Alrighty. Ooh, broke some records. That's good. 
New combo. Great combo. Give me those XP. I need them XP. Level me. Level me. I feel like this must be how it uh how it feels like to be a Pokemon. Just just watching your stats go up and you just go, oh, I just gained experience. Maybe I'll evolve. I wish I could evolve into a Butterfree. They're the badass Pokemon. You know what? I don't care what you think. It goes from a caterpillar to a metapod. Like, that thing would not break. That thing is amazing. And you know what? What could crush a metapod? Not many things. You know what could break out of a metapod? A Butterfree. Yeah. I know it came out from inside, but I don't care. It broke through that hard gel itself. It made it itself and just broke out of it. And yes, I'm going by the anime, but that's how I really think it would happen. So, if you disagree, I don't care. Alright, let's see how Era of Kings did. Mm -hmm. That's not a good sign. Yeah, well, why didn't you love it then? It was a bit short. We're going for heavy fives here. Oh, a six. All games, you are a good friend. I bet I'm paying you money to say that, though. So, let's see. What's that? That's about. I was never good at maths. Well, I was for a bit, but not that good. 5, 10, 15, 21 over 4 is. 5.25? Think? Yeah, something like that. If I'm wrong, please don't attack me. It's late, and I just. I can't think. Alright, well, that won't make millions, but I'm sure it'll make enough. Mm. Not that great, but. No, ooh, dropping fast. Oh, hi there, I've been in Zero King's I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business, and we could use some skills like yours. If you're ever short on cash, just let me know. I will have to see you, will you, blah, blah, whatever. Um, yeah, you know what? I've got a bit of time left. I could do some contract work. Let's have a go. This is a tool for earning some cash. When your balance is low, you can also use missions to generate a small number of research points. Contracts will allow you to generate a certain amount of design and technology points before the time runs out. Now, yo, it's the deadline, you get a penalty. That's, that's harsh. What can I click? Oh. oh that's weird. Why can't I just click on them? Four weeks and twelve points. <coughs> oh, sorry. I sucked down to air the wrong way. Don't do that. Um, yeah, just to play it safe, we're gonna go with this one. Let's go. Get me some order. Timer is going down quick. Oh, recent market study suggests that the Govador, Govador G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Oh, well, that sucks. Consumers prefer the lower price and great availability. <coughs> well, well, I can't change that, can I? Oh, well. I doubt that if if it's anything to go by like if real life go by but the PC will have a late surge and blow that stupid thing out of the water. Yeah. No. Nah. I'm sticking with the PC. We've got some research points too, that's good. Alright, contract successful, just what we wanted. We will transfer twelve K to your account. That's the thing, uh where does the K come from in I think a uh, thousand up, up with what? <coughs> Wondering this for a few, few days now. Like I only started thinking about it, and I never understood it. I only knew 
k being a thousand because of 40k or Warhammer. So I might be a complete idiot, and I could probably easily Google this, but I don't know. Anyone knows? Let me know. Like there must be some logical reasoning behind it. I just must not understand. But yeah, if you can let me know, that'd be good. Oh, Jason here. I got work with client contracts. Excellent work. Yeah, you're welcome. I wish my real clients were happy. Oh, kings. Not doing great, but you aren't getting enough cash. Um. Well. And I just got an alarm. So I think this might be a better time than any to call it quits for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and you know what? No. Us? Here. I'd like you guys to help me out. You're gonna name my game. Or pick a topic. Or pick a genre. Or, well, no. It's gonna be on PC, okay? It's gonna be PC, and it's not gonna be medieval or sports, so. It's based on military, and whatever suits with that, too. And if no one comes up with any good names, I'll come up with a really bad pun, so watch out for that. Alright, so guys, just leave your suggestions in the comment box below, and if you enjoyed watching this Let's Play, um, let me know, and you know what? Maybe I'll make another one. Maybe I'll make a series, because, you know, I'm just getting into the whole Let's Play sort of thing, and, you know, if you like hearing me ramble on like an idiot then that's awesome and if not tell me to shut up and I will cry myself to sleep. <laughs> anyway, catch you next time guys. Bye.